Well, good evening, everyone. This is Tom Kramer of Absolute Advantage Multimedia, and I just wanted to do a really quick video on my review. And actually, I don't want to call it a review. It's just first thoughts of a new program I'm using to actually help me with my Amazon, um, increasing my Amazon sales, getting more reviews, and getting better feedback. I um, started the business of probably about a year and a half ago. It's actually my wife's business and I helped promote it. And, uh, you know, sales come in gradually, didn't really push a lot, didn't do a lot of advertising. Our Christmas sales, they just seem to do well um, without a lot of advertising. And then we get into a slower month and realize I had to do additional advertising and more importantly, get my um, site will actually get in more reviews and, and getting my uh, ranking up on some of my products. problem I have is I have 2,200 products on Amazon right now. They're private label, not quite the same thing that people are doing where they get things overseas, but still a viable product. And um, just wanted to sh just give you a quick review on um, this sales back or um, site and what I think about it. So let me share my screen right now. So this is my um, Amazon um, uh, page of all my products. And you can see it says 2,160 2, products. Kind of see that there. And um, so I want to try to get, it doesn't necessarily have to have all of them, but to get a good majority of them up where they're starting to rank better and have a, actually a few good winners out there, maybe if more than a few, but one especially that's really doing well. And so I thought, well, if you come over to my Amazon site, you can see I've got some orders here. You can come over here and see what my sales were in the last seven days. And then if you scroll down, um, you'll see the uh, <coughs> my reviews. Don't pay attention to that fair. That was just uh, something I forgot to mark shipped. And so since I, you know, I forgot to mark something that shipped and I was late on it, and they kind of get you on that, so be careful of that. But this would jump, drop off quickly. But if you can see, in the last 12 months, I've had 23 ratings. I have a 4.9 star rating as well. And I really want to boost that up. Um, but I really don't want, and I also want to get my reviews boosted up as well. So I thought I need to do uh, both. You can see here that I've got Amazon wanting to take one of our products and send it FBA, which I do have some stuff at FBA, but obviously I can't do all 2,200 products FBA. But uh, want to, um, this one I might go ahead and send as FBA and get that on Prime because this one is doing real well. It's amazing. I just looked at this uh, an hour ago, and I was number 40 in the particular category. Now I'm about number 58. And I have other products that are actually 200,000 in their category. So this one is really, I want to target this one to continue to do well. Um, anyway, let me go over to the software. It's called Sales Backer. And it just talks about, you know, this is kind of like the... Um, my dashboard showing how many sales I've had, how many emails have been sent. And right now I'm on the free version. So I'm very new in the initial stages. So I want to do some updates as I go along on this. So, um, so I do want to really do go to the paid version because they have ability to do attachments. And I think I can use that to my advantage to, um, you know, give some additional value to the customer through an attachment of, it could be a, um, kind of a guide on how to use the product or a guide to better use the product or um, better increase your skills. But I also want to um, also offer some free things as well through that attachment as well. So right now I'm just using the free version because I'm really testing this out. And um, if you go over here and you click on products, you'll see that it has all my products, all 2100. And I'm not going to scroll all the way down. 
but this just tells me it's running. Um, if I have any complaint about the site, and I've already talked to the owners about it, is that this site's really kind of set up for the uh, private label seller, which I am a private label seller, but those people that get their products from overseas, from China, maybe do one or two products. And so they probably only need, they only probably have two products on this Amazon product page. For me, I have over 2,100 products, and you have to click each one of these individually to make them live. So I figured that uh, you can do about 60 a day, uh, six, I'm sorry, 60 an hour. So you can uh, add up how many hours it's going to take to get this live. Um, they said that that's their future is to try to make this where it's a, you can do a bulk update. So right now that is not the case. So I'm spending some money uh, hiring a virtual assistant and uh, the virtual assistant is doing this and I, I'm right now using uh, Fiverr and I got a virtual assistant that does it for five hours for me. And uh, you know, so five hours, of click, he can do about 600 of these, five to 600 in a five hour span when that that's to me is re very reasonable. So I figured uh, a couple of times with him and I should have this done. And it's also helped me to, to understand how virtual assistants can take off all the mundane off my plate. So right now I've got that running, or I'm still trying to get all these running. Good thing is as an order comes in, I can quickly, if I have something that's not running, I can quickly go ahead and make this live. Um, and uh, actually get it to, be, you know, so the email can go out even if I don't have it quite live it yet because there is a delay before they send the email out. So it will capture it. So I'm scrolling down here. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge that a little bit so you can see it. I'm scrolling down and I wanted to kind of show you, but I think we're going to be out of luck here to show you one that's not running. And as you can see, it's a ton of products. It's just a lot. So I'm hoping that this will, um, oh, I'm not going to go any further with this. It's, oh, here we go. Actually got one. So, Basically, I just want to show you. So this is one I want to make lives very simple. I'm just going to click that magnifying glass. And I don't have to change anything. I don't want to edit the product name. don't want to change this. And I really just want to use the campaign. This, this one's under a default review maximizer. And what really I want, what I'm doing is doing, I want a review feedback combo. Because I want to try to get reviews and feedback. Because that will actually push my product up in the rankings on Amazon as well. So all I have to do is hit save changes, click to run campaign, and there we have it. That product is now live. If someone orders something, then they'll get automatic emails. So I'm going to go over here to emails. So I'm over here to review feedback combo. This is the one I've set up. And um, I've got 1,347 products so far that are live that I still need about another 800 to go. And then what it does is I've got five emails set up. One is order confirmation. Second one is item shipped. Third one is requesting feedback from the customer. Fourth one is product review. Want them to ask for a product review. And then finally, just a final email to remind them that uh, I'd like to have a review on our product. So this one is sent out. The order conference is sent out as soon as the order is confirmed, which is mean as soon as it's ordered, the credit card is charged. And then item shipped. Even if I've shipped it the same day, it does not send it out till the day later because you do not want to send an email back to back on the same day. That could probably consider it spam. And then, um, then the, the third email really is not sent out until maybe four or five days later. And it gives it enough time for the product to get there. And then that, then it sends out about a day after it's delivered. And it's basically saying, hey, I want to um, uh, ask you for a feedback request. How are you doing? And the feedback request, you really want to be specific. You know, was the product shipped on time? Was customer service? Um, any issues that we can deal with? You know, we really want to tell the customer before you leave any feedback, you know, contact us and let us know. And, but we just want to keep that communication open. And then about five days after it's delivered, now that they've got it for the product for a while, maybe had a chance to check it out, let's get a review. Let's go ahead and ask a re for a review from the customer. And then lastly, 10 days afterwards, let's get a final 
request from the customer for a review. And this will not send if the customer has already sent the review as well. So um, briefly, I'm just going to click into this. And so you can see it's got merge tags on here. Order confirmation. It says, thank you for purchasing product name. And then let me just scroll down here. Um, it will actually put the buyer's name. Hello, buyer. First name. Thank you for buying the product. We value your business and strive to offer the best quality product and top-notch customer service. As we want you to be completely satisfied with your purchase in our company. Please note, or, and, and I'm, uh, I've put this paragraph in because... A lot of people do not want to take the time to read. So I'm giving them an opportunity. I don't want to have any issue. Give them an opportunity to cancel the order. Now, that sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but you want good feedback. And people are just going to give you bad feedback or bad reviews if they misunderstand the description. And my product description, I think, is pretty self-straightforward, straight, but people still don't want to read. Um, so I, in this case, I really set it out for them. I said, please note, in order to give you the best buying experience, we ask customers to completely review their order and know what they're buying. Our product is a pattern stated clearly in the title or chart. It is not a kit. We do not supply floss, Ada cloth, or, nor needle. If you purchased our quality product thinking it was a kit, there's still time to change your mind. By clicking the link below, you can request cancellation of this order within two hours of your order time. We ship fast. If you know your order is a pattern, then sit tight. We are shipping your order quickly. In the meantime, dust off your favorite movie that you like to watch while stitching because our exquisite product will be in your mailbox before you know it. So you really want to give them the opportunity to, uh, to know what they're buying because, as you know, a good portion of them seems like America does not like to read or they can read correctly. They just... I just want to give them every opportunity that to know what they're buying. It saves a lot of problems later on in the process and risking getting feedback, even if you've done everything right to uh, correct the problem. So anyway, that's that there. Um, let me go back to the next one. Item shipped. Once again, it says your order product name is shipped using the merge tags and it says hello buyer first name your order has shipped we value your business and strive to offer the best quality product and extra customer service to give you complete satisfaction with your purchase you can review and track the status of your order at this link below let us know if there's anything else we can assist you while you wait with while you wait for your package to arrive in the meantime and i did the same thing dust off your favorite movie as your cross stitch pad will be in your mailbox in no time you can reach me via this link with any question Thank you for your purchase. So, that, you know, you really want to just give every opportunity to give them the best uh, customer service, give them opportunity to reach out if there's an issue that we really want to help them. And then this is the third one. This is after the product has arrived. And um, it says seller feedback request. Did your product arrive on time? You arrive yet? According to our records, you should have recently received your product name. We strive. We strive for excellent customer service. So if your order arrive on time and without any issues, we really appreciate if you please provide us seller feedback here. It will take less than 30 seconds, and we're grateful for all the feedback we receive. Thank you again for your purchase. And if you have any issues with your delivery, please reply to this email or contact Amazon customer service so we can assist you. This is pretty much a standard template. I'm thinking about updating it to really kind of spell out and maybe bullet points. Um, what feedback should consist of, you know, was the product damaged? Uh, well, actually, that would be more in the review, but is, did it arrive on time? Did you get it in a timely manner? If there was a problem, did they, did you reach out to us and did you get a sharp, um, quick response back? So very important. And a few other things you want to put in there to really say, this is what feedback is. It's different than a review. And let's go back to the next one. This would be the fourth email, product review request, pretty self-explanatory, five days after the job. Uh, we do appreciate, um, well, I'm sorry, let me step back, drive for, 
by now amazon should have already delivered your product name if there's any issues with your purchase you can reply to this email or also directly contact amazon customer service we truly appreciate every customer we want you completely satisfied can you do us a two-minute favor if the product met or exceeds your expectation, we would love to hear about it please spread the word by leaving a review here feel free to comment on how a product is working for in our customer service Again, if there are any issues with the product, please reply to this email, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. And then lastly, we want to um, do one final email. This will be our final email to you regarding the product purchase. If you have not already left a review, we'd appreciate it if you could. We take all reviews seriously and strive for the best quality product and customer experience. If you have just two minutes to spare and are enjoying your purchase, please leave us a review here. Lastly, if there's any issues with our order, please don't hesitate to reply to this email. You can also reach out to Amazon customer service directly here as well. Thank you again and happy stitching. So as you can see, um, we're trying to give every opportunity to the customer to come back and give us feedback as well as um, a review. Um, you're lucky if you maybe get a 5% response but it's still worth um, getting that out because the more reviews, the more feedback you get, your ranking will go up considerably on Amazon when people are searching for your product. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm probably at about day seven on the plan. I've only sent out, let me see how many messages I've sent out so far. Well, actually it says right here, I sent out 39 emails. Let me go back. 39 emails and I believe on this plan you get 150 a month free so when I exceed that then it's time for me to go ahead and go to the paid plan um, so um, let me kind of go over to that paid plan so here we go so right now it's 100 I said 150 it's actually 120 emails that's the current plan I'm on you don't get any special features this one is 19 a dollars a month you get 1600 emails and um, also has some premium features which is the main thing I say is you can attach a file up to seven, seven megabytes to any email we send to Amazon customers there you could probably send out a free gift maybe like a PDF or a free you know or like a tips on the product or just tips in general on that product line i think the customer really appreciate that getting that information and then also the premium feature gives you an email alert when you receive feedback that is below the threshold you specify for example three stars or less and obviously the other plans i think i'm saying if you're doing four thousand emails a month you're making some money so 39 dollars seems really reasonable and if you do 40,000 emails a month, I'm guaranteeing you're making some sales. So $159 a month would be a drop in a bucket. Once again, I'm on the free. I'm hoping to see if I move up. To me, expense is not an issue as you move up. So as I move up, I'm just telling me I'm doing more and more orders. So I'm going to give you probably an update in about a week and see where I'm at, see if I've got any additional feedback. To be honest with you, right now I have not received any feedback since the seven days, but... It's, you know, the emails are just going out right now and we're getting reminders out as well. So I'm curious to see what's happening. And um, anyway, thank you very much. And um, if you have any questions, leave comments below there. Talk to you later.